Uh, I'm going to do a poem now that uh, it, I, I will see how this goes. Uh, I, I don't often do it outside of New York because it is a New York uh, related poem. Uh, but I did do it in St. Paul at Nationals and uh, I lost. So we'll see if this comes <laughs> out. We came in 35th. Um, so if any of this offends you, I encourage you to talk to me. Dialogue is important. Uh, that's what this is about. So if anything bothers you here, don't throw things at me, per se, but uh, talk to me and then buy a book. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> On finding an internet message board entitled Fuck New York City, subtitled, you're welcome. To the commenter of North Dakota who said, You know what comes to mind? Trash at your feet as you fail to walk from one corner to the next. The immigrants with their will work for food signs, pretending to be blind so they can rob you. To the commenter from Idaho who said, The pollution is so bad there, all the residents carry handkerchiefs over their face as they walk down the street. The Empire State Building is so run down that it's not even a tourist attraction anymore. <laughs> Imagine not taking care of the one thing that your state has to be proud of. And to the commander from Nebraska, who said, turn it into a bombing range and finish the job. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> there was a reason no one ever flew a plane into your daddy's office building. This city, like a lawn of cast iron, is your vest. This city is your beacon. We have burned to warn you people of coming bloodshed. Our streets have opened up to swallow our children so that you might be able to ask Dr. Phil how to deal with a terrorist attack. We have propped up your Walmarts and built your gas masks from our bulkheads. How soon we forget. Even before we were rivers of blood to float your Mayflowers upon, we were 10,000 Americans to your Plymouth Rock. Chew your brain. To the commander from North Dakota, I reply, you, you are welcome. Every time you say that we are rude, remember that a 2007 study found that our potholes are more full than they were 10 years before because they were painted with the dust of our cousins. Every time you say that we are sinners, remember that there's a generation of sixth graders in the city whose first memory was a ninth circle of hell to the commander from Idaho. I reply, you, you are welcome. Every time you say we're too loud for your taste, remember that most of us learn how to scream while defending this land from the violence of your bobble belts into the commenter from Nebraska. I reply, you, you are welcome. If you couldn't remember what the sound of sacrifice is like, even in the shade of your many misplaced crucifixes, if every Good Friday wasn't enough to learn you in the cost of blood, if you couldn't spell vengeance, it's written in a hole in the ground at the corner of Liberty and Church, eight million of us scraped it with the knuckle of a doorman in the dust, there is a reason. We read every name every September. And it's not just to hear our beautiful voices speak. It's to remind every last ungrateful hornet among them what the sound of sacrifice is like. Rafael Humberto Santos. John J. Bagliadachi. Sergio Villanueva. Like what we modern day Vikings have named our shields Andre Cox. Alexander Steinman, Dipti Patel, Nancy Morgenstern, James Patrick Ladley. Like the word martyr can be pronounced 2,600 ways, Wade Green, Eric Eisenberg, Mindy Chang, Lord Scaletti, Calixto and I, Jr. You should be blessed. I'm repeating my ritual in the company of thieves. You're welcome. Hope you never know what it's like to have smoke stack in your lungs. To know what a long drift in the broken winds, 110 stories can feel like with a blazer for a parachute. If you hate our city, there are 57 bridges out. It's crowded like a motherfucker anyway. And I can't deal with one more tourist on a two train anyhow. Stand clear of the closing doors. You're welcome.